Laurel Foundation, Lori and I get to meet extraordinary people. Some have overcome horrors, like the refugees saved by Sasha Sharnoff. Others are strong people with a generous heart. Let me tell you about another of my heroes. She's called Martha Ryan, and she is as Irish as you can get outside of Ireland. She comes from a poor Catholic family of 13 children. Martha remembers that one Christmas, she and the other Ryan children pretended that it was a day like any other day. They didn't want to think about Christmas trees, turkey, cake, and let alone the gifts that other kids would have. When she was nine years old, on a very particular cold Christmas Eve, there was a knock at the door. Standing in the street were three Hasidic Jewish men dressed all in black, carrying baskets of food, clothes, and toys for the 13 Ryan children. Those men belonged to another religion, another culture. They didn't celebrate Christmas, yet they thought of their neighbors and went to their home bearing gifts. I know this sounds like a Dickens story, but actually it happened, and it marked Martha's soul. She never forgot that act of love. Those men inspired her life work. She became a nurse, married and moved to San Francisco. She noticed that among the homeless in the city, there were many pregnant young women, some barely teenagers, helpless girls living in the streets, doing drugs and alcohol, being prostituted and exploited. She knew that pregnancy and childbirth are windows of opportunity to make profound changes in a woman's life and decided to use that opportunity. She would care for those pregnant women. The task was huge. She got a grant from the San Francisco Foundation for a prenatal program from homeless women. The first year, she was able to help 72 clients with a staff of three. 25 year, years later, Homeless Prenatal Program has grown. It has a large building, a staff of 80, one third of them former clients, 200 volunteers, and it serves 4,000 women annually. They monitor the pregnancy, assist in childbirth, throw baby showers, counsel families, train parents, run a daycare that deals with mental health, and they also deal with mental health, housing, domestic violence, substance abuse, you name it. Just think diapers. 30,000 diapers a year is a mountain of diapers. 